What's up guys? Welcome to another penetration testing video. So in this video we're going to look at how to uh, brute force uh, WordPress using WP Force. In a previous video we did this using WP Scan and it was quite interesting. And I know that um, I said that we'll also do this using Hydra but I'm not really sure that we're going to do that because the command for Hydra is a bit more complex and you don't really have to do it when you can do it uh, either via WP scan or WP force. So uh, what's different, be uh, what's uh, kind of uh, the big difference between WP scan and WP force is that WP scan takes a, a rather direct approach and uh, uh, tests uh, the credentials or brute forces directly in, uh, through the um, login form while uh, WP Force takes a kind of uh, indirect approach using xmlrpc.php. So xmlrpc is a service in WordPress that allows communication between WordPress and different systems. So it kind of enables API communication. So if uh, XML RPC is uh, enabled, then it is very likely you will be able to use uh, WP force for brute forcing the credentials. If is, uh, so if uh, uh, XML RPC is not enabled, you might not be able to do this. Okay, so like I've said in the previous video, you should never do this type of assessment on a target or on a website that you do not have specific permission to to kind of do it. So you should only do this type of assessment on targets and websites that you have specific permission to do. Um, okay, so that uh, having the disclaimer out of the way, let's uh, let's go about it. So in this case, I'm using a vulnerable machine, which is taken from Vulnhub. So this vulnerable machine is Quasar. And uh, it is the same machine that I tested with uh, WP scan. So um, Quasar resides at 192.168.1104. And the WordPress directory is the WordPress. Okay, so now let's uh, jump right into it. So the command is actually uh, so Python is this is actually Python 2.7, I guess. So wp4s.py, and we have to specify. Uh, let's see what the help tells us. So it tells us that we have to specify input, which is the uh, file with the username. Then we have to specify the word list and the URL. So the URL is going to be between quotations. Uh, there are also uh, three other parameters or four uh, minus V is for verbos verbosity, minus T is for threads, minus A is for agent and minus D is for debugging. Uh, but these are all optional. So let's construct our command uh, Python WP force.py and I have the uh, username admin in the file user.txt. So user uh, user.txt doesn't want to autocomplete. Um, and minus W, the word list is in user share word uh, lists psvds lst. So this is a uh, small word list containing the actual um, correct credential, so the actual word uh, that's the login for the admin. Uh, so the word list is kind of 30 to 40 words long. Um, so this is going to be really quick. And we also have to specify minus u between quotations. So HTTP uh, 192.168.1104 WordPress. WordPress. Okay, and that's uh, that's kind of the full command. So we hit enter and it should finish quickly. If all works correctly, sometimes it throws this it throws this timeout error, uh, but I'm not really sure why. Um, it says try reducing thread count. Let's uh, reduce the thread. Let's see if we reduce the thread to five.
Hmm, seems to be running better, I guess. Yeah, so uh, this kind of did the trick. So if we have 10 threads, so let's do it again. Let's see, the default is 10. So we'll leave it with 10 threads. And you see it, uh, it reduces, uh, it kind of throws the error. And if we, let's say, decimate it to five, so we specify five threads, um, it appeared that it ran correctly without giving us the uh, the error. Okay, so um, as you can see, and you should learn from uh, this, uh, this uh, kind of output that I had over here, slightly above. Uh, so whenever you do uh, you do the assessment with WP force try to try to re try to reduce the thread number to five uh, from the default which is 10 because it seems that if you do that at least for this version of WP force it seems that if you do that it kind of works correctly without giving you the um, without giving you the error so we can now just go to WP admin and the username admin and the password QUASAR293 and we should be within the admin panel right now okay so that's how you go about it um, another thing that I have to mention is that WP force is by default not installed in Kali Linux so you'd have to go to uh, the github repository and I'm going to post a link to it in the description so uh, and you should also copy the link uh, to the repository over there and then you'll have to git clone that repository dot git and once you clone it you just uh, cd into wp force and then you kind of do uh, the full command that i did here okay so i guess uh, that's it for this video i hope you learned something and uh, like i said you should only do this on targets that you have specific given permission to assess um, other than that uh, thanks for watching uh, hit the like button and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and i'll see you in the next one